Hello and good morning. Today I'm going to play with my most expensive makeup. Here I have my box and the eyeshadow palette is going to be the Natasha Denona Gold, Gold Palette. And if you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm 45 from the Netherlands, hence the accent. And if you want to learn how to apply makeup on a skin that's no longer 25, that has a little bit more, move, let's say, movement in it. Mm. Um, if you want to be inspired by unusual color combinations and if you're slightly orcish as well then this is a D channel for you subscribe now become part of my nestlings because we are having a blast here on the internet uh, slightly orcish means olive I am a light warm olive do I want primer? I can hello my darling hello oh, I have a roomie here yes it is hello hello Like a big black square. Yes. I'm a tiny black square. Or something. Let's start with primer. Moments later. More moments later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, so the primer that I have is from Fenty. Um, and I don't use a primer often anymore, but today I am. Because the foundation I'm going to use, I actually like a primer underneath to give it a little bit more slip to make it a little bit easier to spread around. The foundation is going to be the Lisa Eldridge foundation. Here she is. And I have actually two shades. I have shade 9 and I have shade 16. Uh, 9 is a true neutral olive. And 16 is a warm um, olive. But uh, it's a little bit too dark for me right now. So I mix the two. I actually like to apply this foundation with my fingers. And I lately am very much enjoying applying foundation with my fingers. So... Now this foundation is a light to medium coverage um, and I kind of had to get used to that again after testing out the Charlotte Tilbury foundation which I actually pulled initially but this one is more expensive so if you want to know which one is my favorite it kind of depends I love the finish of the Charlotte uh, I love that it's a little bit more fuller coverage but I really love this one as well uh, and this one is just so skin like that, um, I don't know, I, I don't feel I have any foundation or makeup on um, when I have a good skin day, or at least according to me, I don't know. I can sheer it out if I want to. I can build it up a tad. What I also do often is just go over it with a dry sponge. And when I put a primer underneath, I just have a little, like, like with the Fenty um, foundation, her long wear foundation, you need a little bit of time to work with it. So, and the same with this one. It's not that it dries down very, very quickly, although sometimes for me it does. My skin type is normal, um, but can get a bit dehydrated. Uh, so I just like a primer underneath this one to give it a little bit of extra emollient, emollient, I don't know, slip. <laughs> I don't know the word. It's early. I haven't had my... I haven't finished my coffee yet, so... Okay, foundation is on. Let's put a little bit of concealer on, which is going to be the one from Rare Beauty. Now with this foundation I usually don't contour, um, so I'm not going to, to do that now either. Um, and I am going to powder uh, underneath my eyes soon because it keeps creasing. It's usually when, with this foundation only part that I really powder. Let's just do that now. And for powder I grab my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Finish in Powder in Fair. I also have the medium one. I'm going to do brows. And for brows, I'm going to use my Honey 
um, my, my pink honey glow. I don't really have anything high end in this, so I'm just going to do my brows real quick. It's time for bronzer and for bronzer I grab my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. First I tap it on. And then I blend. I haven't done I filled in my brows yet because I usually let them set just a tad. I'm going to do that after I have applied the bronzer now. I am going to prime my eyes uh, already so that it can kind of set a little bit before I apply the foundation, uh, the foundation, wow, well, the eyeshadow. <laughs> and the primer is also from Natasha Denona. Okay, on to blush and highlight uh, for blush. I grab my Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame. Is that the shade name? Yeah, that's the shade name. For highlighter, I grabbed uh, a high. Yeah, it's no longer available, but I think it's the only high end one that I have. So it's from Becca and it is the shade uh, Own Your Light. And this is what the component looks like. It's a very, very pretty highlighter. Because I'm going, I know I'm going to use it anyway, let's apply the lip liner and the lipstick from uh, Christian Odette. The lip liner I have in the shade Kitten. And the lipstick I have in the shade Puffin. Now it's time for eyes. So let's go to my Natasha Denona Gold palette. And as I said, I'm going to do a very, very simple neutral eye makeup. I'm going to start, I don't know how the shades are called, but I'm basically going to play here on this side. So I'm going to start with this shade. I'm going to deepen it up with that shade. And I actually think that I'm going to put this one or maybe this one on the lid. So very, very extremely neutral. It's, I don't know. I just, I like that with this, uh, with this eye makeup. So let me zoom you in a tad. Like that. Let me go down. So I can see myself in the mirror. Why do I have, why? Why do I have lipstick there? How? Wow. It's never, this has never happened to me before. Le yeah, never mind. Let's just put eyeshadow on. Still the same shade, just a different brush. It makes it, which makes it way more intense. So let's build it up in the crease a bit. When you place eyeshadow, basically do it with your eyes relaxed and then you can blend it out or add if you want to. But first layer, just with your eyes relaxed. So I'm going to go to the darkest brown now and I'm going to follow my bottom lid up and then in basically. And then with my eyes relaxed, I'm pulling it in so that I create the crease. And then I kind of know where I want that to be so I can kind of look down a little bit and blend it a bit more. And then look up and then I can see that it is 
that it flows nicely. As I've said before, ignore the folds. Just draw what you want to see. And when you have placed it, you can fill in the folds. Okay. Let's get a blending brush. Cleaning it on a microfiber tile that I have. I'm going to go back into that darker shade. And I'm just going to intensify and blend that darker layer. These shadows work so, so nicely. Now, I never said it was going to be a soft neutral look. <laughs> Just that it was a neutral look. I'm going to go um, back to that first shade that I used. I'm going to blend out the edges a little bit more. I do want that darker shade on my lower lid. I'm grabbing that first shade again, just blending it out a bit. So I just think I'm going to be fancy, because I also never said it was going to be easy. I think I'm going to uh, combine this one and that one. So this one in the inner eye part area and that one in the outer eye part area. And I maybe, I don't know, maybe I will be extra fancy in the inner corner. Let's start with the shade. What's the shade called? Alchemist, I think. In the inner eye part area. Oh, that's pretty. Now I'm going to the darker shade, which is basically the same shade as the as the mattes that I used, or at least the second matte that I used, which is very very pretty. I'm going to blend the two together. Yeah, like that. Let's go for a little bit of funkiness for the inner corner. Because I can, and that's the shade Lime Chrome, so basically this one. Thank you. Let's also put it a little bit in on the lid. Okay, I am going to finish it off eye pencil. What do I do? Do I do a brown or do I do a nude? What's my most expensive eye pencil? I actually don't know. Because honestly, a lot of eye pencils that I have that I have on drugstore, I think it's I almost think it's this one, which is from Pure. It's a very very nice eye pencil, by the way. Yeah, I like that a lot. And it's the brown. I don't know. And everything will be listed down below in the description box as well, in case you were wondering what I was using. Now for falsies, uh, the most expensive falsies that I have are the box is beat up. And the falsies are as well. But these are the Iconics from House of Lashes. It's the most expensive ones that I have. I have a tutorial in my description box on how I apply my falsies. And how I apply my eyeliner. So I'm just going to do that off camera to save a little bit of time. I'll be right back with the completeness and the gloriousness. That is me. So hold on tight. This is how it turned out. With the falsies on. And I didn't add any, well, except the eyeliner, but that's a drugstore eyeliner. I don't have a, it's the only eyeliner that I use. So is that true? Yeah, I could have grabbed a pot eyeliner, but I usually don't use pot eyeliners. So this is going to be it for the, for today. I think that the look turned out very, very, very pleasantly. Me likey, me likey, likey a lot. And let me know down below what you think of it. Would you rock this or is it maybe a little bit too safe for you? Or are you like, oh, I did not know that neutrals could be this. Basically. <laughs> Because honestly, I'm having, I am truly, I love color, but I am having a lot of fun with neutrals. And it doesn't mean that it has to be boring. Uh, if you're like, I want to spruce up a neutral look, why not do a pop of neon in the inner corner or a nice i don't know duochrome shimmery in the inner corner or a fun eye pencil that kind of thing or pair it with a fun lippy it makes it, it it elevates it to a whole different level but if you're like no i want to play with my greens then you go play with your greens 
yes this is going to be it for me today let me know down below what you think of this look thank you so so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below i'm going to wish you a fantastic day fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and i will see you very soon in my next video bye guys Thank you.